All right, so today we're going to talk about the uh, replacement of uh, a cooling fan controller module on a Mazda B6 2006 Mazda 6. Uh, so I actually replaced this already and I didn't have uh, batteries in the camera so I wasn't able to record. So now I'm going to just kind of go through the steps and show you how it's done. This is a, uh, these are pretty common on Fords and Mazdas of like 2004 to 2007 or something. This is a control module for the fans, cooling fans. There's two dual fans down inside right here in front. Uh, so here's some symptoms that you might want to, if you're having that might mean that this module is defective. It's a pretty common thing these go bad. Um, so let's say you're, uh, your fan is running excessively. It's cool weather out, there's no need for the fan to be running, and it's running. Uh, you'll turn the car off and the fan is still running high speed for maybe 30 seconds or so and then it finally turns off. Um, those are some of the symptoms of a controller problem. Uh, not to say that there's other, could be other problems causing them to run, but this is the most common issue. So we're going to explain how to remove this and replace it. You can buy these online, lots of different places sell them, selling anywhere from $15 to you know $50. Uh, to tell you the truth, I think they're all coming from the same factory somewhere in China, um, and I don't know if they're any different. But uh, the one that I bought cost me, I think, $18 or something. We'll see how long it lasts. What's common in these is that the circuit board inside cracks uh, or it gets a bad solder joint and starts messing up on them. So, anyway. Here's, uh, here's some of the instructions uh, for removing uh, this unit. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, I may have mentioned before, you know, take this plastic cover off, remove the screws that are uh, here and here and here, take that cover off, get it out of the way. Uh, you take your whole air unit um, off, uh, which also includes the air intake tubing here and removing this little clip here, pulling this air intake um, hose off, removing this, not removing but loosening this screw here, this Phillips screw here to, to pull this tube off, uh, taking these clips off here and here and one on the back here and removing this electrical connection here and removing this electrical connection here and then this box can be exposed once it's exposed uh, you want to remove the whole entire box which it kind of just pulls out it's got some rubber you can't see them from here but there's rubber little I don't know I'll call them suction cups that hold it in place but you can you can uh, pull that and pop it out and the whole entire box comes out so once that's out of the way um, well, also, you're going to remove this hose here. <clears throat> so once all that's out of the way, you can get in and get down to this module here. And I believe they're 10 millimeter uh, bolts that hold these in place, one on each side. Um, there's here. I'll show you on the old one. There's three electrical connections: one, two, and three. They have uh, a little keying can't put them in backwards. Uh, I need a screwdriver to push down on the tabs to, to loosen them and pop them out. And then once that module's out, it's really very easy. Just take the new one, put it in its place, and do the reverse of it. Uh, put the two bolts back on, plug in the three electrical connections. Which, by the way, uh, the large one is the power coming in and the other two are out to each of the fans. 
Uh, and that's basically it. Fairly easy. The whole time to do it is probably about a half an hour. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I do want to mention uh, some of the reasons why these control modules might go bad. So, um, not only can they go bad because of a cracked circuit or overheating or shorting out inside of the electronics in here, but also if the load to them changes drastically. So what can cause that is if your fan units start drawing more current than they should, which means that their resistance is changing, uh, they're getting gunked up and dirty, or the um, I guess you can, bushings would be wearing on them, uh, bearings are wearing on them, so they're now dragging more and putting more resistance, and that is going to cause more current to flow. So, uh, so it's a good idea to check your fans. Uh, make sure that they are spinning, and they're nice and clean, that they're spinning freely. Um, not sure how exactly how you'd really test them to see if they're drawing more. I've looked online to try to find the um, specs on them and it seems like nobody's really publishing them but if you could find the specs you could and if you have a digital multimeter you could measure the resistance of the, the DC fans and determine whether or not they're uh, causing more uh, drawing more current than they should. Anyway, so there's some tips for you.